Hello, my name is Kate and this is the first of one of the many wedding hauls that I'm going to be doing over the next, how many months is it? I'm getting married in July next year, so I've got September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, about 10 months. So there's quite a bit of time, but it just feels people like spend ages, like years planning their weddings and we decided to do it within the year. So it's kind of quick, I suppose, but not really because a year is a long time. So hopefully I can do it. Um, if you are new to my channel, hello and welcome along. And I do all kinds of videos and vlogs and mostly secondhand hauls, um, car boot sale and charity shops and lots of um, thrifting and filming um, where I go in the charity shops and at the car boot as well, showing you the bargains as I kind of buy them. So yes, hello if you're new and hello if you're old, not old, but you know, if you've been a subscriber for a long time. So I'm going to show you all of my wedding bits and pieces. I'm trying not to buy anything new or too expensive. I have got some wedding things from Poundland recently, yesterday actually. So I will do a Poundland haul, a Poundland wedding haul, maybe for next Friday, like carrying on the theme. And I've got some like normal Poundland bits, so I can include those as well. Um, but before I show you all my items, my treasure, I've got to do my mother of the day which I do at the start of every video and it's slightly different this time it's a teacup teacup of the day and um, I've been collecting these so if you've watched my vlogs and a couple of my videos lately and um, you'll know that I'm collecting these to put on um, the table so we're doing like a rustic vintage second-hand wedding um, and I just want it to look really cute and um, vintagey and just all mismatched. So I've been collecting these trios and I found loads. I think I've got about 50 now. So I have been shopping nearly every day, like looking in the um, charity shops and car boot sales. But I picked these ones up yesterday and I think they are gorgeous. So that's the teacup. Um, and I've got a coffee, which I'm going to have a little bit of. In case you didn't know, a trio is basically a little teacup and then you get two saucers. I'm not sure why. Maybe that's for cake. And that's your saucer for your coffee. That's probably why it is. But I love the um, print on that. I think it's so cute. Really, really pretty. I love those colours, like green and orange. Um, I think there's a bit of red in there as well. And these are, they say on the back, Broom, Royal Stafford, made in England, Bone China. Um, so that is one of the trios. And I got seven of, no, six trios and two extra plates. Um, so missing its cup. And um, this like dinner plate for seven pounds yesterday at Sue Ryder in Galston, which is in Great Yarmouth. Um, but it's like it's such a good charity shop, the one in Galston. So if you know Norfolk, you'll know that one, and it's it's full of treasure as well. Um, but I'm going to be doing um, not only little teacups, but I'm going to be providing the plates. I think we're we're going to have afternoon tea um, in the afternoon, obviously afternoon tea, and then a barbecue in the evening. Um, and I think I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna provide the plates. I think they do it anyway, but then I kind of want the look. And I think if I can find these really cheaply, I'll need about 90, I think we've got about 90 guests coming. Um, I can probably get them for about between 30 and 40 pounds. So I'm gonna look for plates. And I think I've got about 10 so far. And I've got 10 months to find them, so I'm sure I will. Um, so this is my first item, the little teacups. And I have shown loads off in vlogs as well. Um, and I've also pre-recorded some footage of everything that I found and I filmed this about four weeks ago so I think I'm going to insert that now so you can see everything that I found and it's all stored at my mum's house I've put that all away um so yeah I'm going to put that footage in now so you can see everything there's lots to see by the way all the glasses and lots of like candle little tea light holders so I'll put that in now so you can watch that and then I will return to everything that is on the bed and this is everything that I found so far I've got 45 different wine glasses all from charity shops and they were about 50p each some were cheaper um, some are 25p and some are a pound so roughly 50p each for most of these and they're just beautiful so they're gonna look so nice um on the table so 45 of those some have never even been um used before they're just very pretty and then i've got lots of tea light holders these are yankee candle tea light holders and they were a pound for i think there's 12 in there and then i've got another six over here they're one pound 50 and then these ones along here um were a pound for the six of them and these were just my mum's anyway, so I've just put them in the stash. And then I've got all different candlestick holders. And most of these were a pound each. Um, I think that was 150, um, a pound for these ones. That was my mum's, as was that one. So I'm gonna use them. These were 199 for the two. They're just white metal ones. And that one was one pound fifty. The glass candle holder. That one was, I think, it was fifty p. And that one there was a pound um, for this lovely big candlestick holder. It is candlestick, isn't it? At the back there, I've got a couple of um, 
water, a couple of uh, water bottles, so I can just fill those up with tap water and leave them on the tables. That little um, string of hearts was a pound, and the sign here, a little love sign, was 70p, so I'm probably just going to dot those about everywhere um, when I decorate. And I've got some uh, vases here, they were a pound each, um, and there's five of those ones. That was a pound, I love that one, I think it's beautiful. Um, and these other ones were a pound as well. And then the little daisy ones, which I'm gonna dot about 80p each. And I think that one was 50p. Um, these are just my mum's, so I'll probably put sweets in those. And this is for like the sweet trolley for the wedding. And they were roughly a pound each. I think they were 175 for those ones. Um, but I did get a couple of others that were a pound for the same ones. And then that lovely little, um, it's kind of like all different colours, little wicker baskets. There are probably some sweets in there as well. And then we've always had these for ages, these Jules water bottles, so we can fill those up. Over here, these were brand new, um, but they were five pounds for these drinks dispensers from Sainsbury's. So I got two of those. These candles are from Home Bargains. I've had them for a while. And then I think that was a pound for that little uh, decoration, but that might not go anywhere, but it just might, you never know. And then over here, these are amazing. So I bought six of these for five pounds and they are, I'll show you one of them. I don't really know what to call these, but they're kind of like shelves with a little metal hook at the top. So I can um, hook them to the wall or hook them onto a tree and maybe put some candles or some flowers on there in a little vase and that's the smallest one and I bought all of these so there is six in there all different sizes and they were five pounds for the six which I thought was really good and it was a really rainy car boot but I was really glad I went along to find them because I think they'll be brilliant for like a rustic wedding which we're having and then the final things to show you are these wedding shoes which are in perfect condition I don't know if they have did get worn but they're just lovely um these were seven pound fifty each they're called rainbow club wedding shoes and they are like satiny ivory white but they'll go with my dress i'm sure they were seven pounds fifty and then i bought these the other day just in case because um you just never know and i thought i could wear these on stage anyway if i don't use them for the wedding but they were four pounds they're brand new um never been worn faith um little heels and I think they'll be really pretty. So I'm not sure whether to go with this type of, um, you know, like satiny white shoes or silver. So I'll just see. And if not, I can always, you know, pass them on to somebody else or resell them um, in the future. Or maybe along with the dress or something if I resell it, if it doesn't get trashed. That is all stored at my mum's house, which is next door. So I'm going to leave it there and I'm just going to keep adding to it. Um, by the way, that's Bestie the cat, if you're wondering what that is over there. Bestie! I was just turned, he's turned his back on me. He was looking at me earlier on, but he's... um. Bestie, you busy? It's just having a snooze. Bestie! No, ear twitch, but he's not gonna... No, he's, he's not interested in saying hello. Um, right, so back to this stuff. So the colours we're going for are white, obviously, um, green, like grass, colour green, and then maybe pale green, and peach, kind of like my nail varnish. So they're the colours. Louise has got herself um, a beautiful second-hand bridesmaid dress it's from coast and i think it was 15 pounds from ebay and i've got my dress already as well which i will show in a different video and that was 100 pounds from ebay and it was brand new with the tags it's a lulu um bride's dress no lulu wedding dress and it's like shorter length like a t length i think it's even ballerina length which is slightly longer anyway i'll show that another time but the, the dresses are bought and hopefully they're, they're both too small for us though so we've got to try and fit in them by july only a little bit too small so we just need to you know make sure we fit in them otherwise i'll have to buy we'll have to find other secondhand dresses um right so i'm gonna start off with a bit of this stuff and this is actually free i saw this out the corner of my eye yesterday in the sue rider shop and um i think it it was it's quite smoky so they weren't sure what to do with it and um, so they gave it to me for free so it's just a kind of oh I just hit myself in the head a little leaf thing that I can probably do something with or hang somewhere um, and then this is like a bigger thing well, that could be my bouquet couldn't it there's a little thing you hold da, 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 da. that might be too much but anyway got two of those they were free so I'm sure I will do something with those and oh I've got a wedding planner book as well I'll just show you this quickly this was a gift from auntie sue who lives in australia so she came over for my mum's like celebration day and um, when we said goodbye to my mum 
and uh, Sue bought this for us. So thank you very much to Auntie Sue in Australia. We had such a nice time. Um, she came to stay with us for about a week and she was with my dad and it was lovely. And she's gonna be coming back for the wedding all the way from Australia next year. So we can't wait to see her again. But she bought this as a little gift and she got me a couple of other things as well. So thank you, Auntie Sue or Auntie Bong Bong, as that's her new name. So this is from Next and it's just got a nice little pen and it just, um, yeah, it's just a planner and it's quite a good little one. So we've just been scribbling in that, me and Lee, and planning what we're doing. So I'm going to carry on with my haul. This was um, £1.50 and it's just a metal candle holder. So I'm just going to keep collecting loads of things like this because I can put them, make little displays in the garden, put them on the tables. And I'm just going to keep collecting them and put them out like when we decorate wherever, um, wherever they need something because we've got quite a big garden. I want to make little areas that are beautiful. Um, so yeah, I'm just picking up different things. That was £1.50 from a charity shop. I can't remember which one. Um, but yeah, that's a nice metal heart thing for a candle. And then I bought this yesterday from Sue Ryder in Galston. And I think that was £1.50 as well, a little cake stand. Oh, I got this yesterday from Sue Ryder. It's just a little hangy tea light holder. And that was a pound. Um, so I'll hang that from a tree and just put maybe an LED um, LED candle in there. So yes, one pound for that one. Um, these are 50p from a car boot sale, two LED candles, and they just need some batteries. Um, I'm not sure how much these are normally, but they're quite a good alternative, aren't they? Because then you won't like burn yourself. So 50p for those two. And we're gonna have a sweet trolley thing at the wedding. So I've bought quite a few big, lovely sweet jars, really cheaply actually. Um, from car boot sales and I thought if I have a few of these like with some M&Ms or something in these are really cheap and you can buy them everywhere so all the things I've been finding lately all the like crockery not crockery oh yeah it is crockery and glasses there's just so many of them in the charity shop so I found loads and I just think they're gonna look so pretty with um things inside them or you could always put candles or little um potpourri or something in there I don't know but I think that was 50p I can't remember it's got no price on it um don't know where I got that from these I got at the oh I've got another one of those actually that's over here I think that was again 50p um but did people were these fruit bowls or do people use these as fruit bowls or do they I don't know what they're using for but very pretty like for what we're going for um and on the car boot sale on sunday in kessingland which is in suffolk if you watch my vlog i did a little bit of filming um i managed to find quite a few wedding things which i'm going to show you and we're having a marquee i think i said that earlier on in the garden and then i'm going to be hanging things off it um so i bought some of these paper lanterns which are perfect um i've got the little metal things that go inside them so i'll just hang these down in all the different colors um, and i've ordered some from ebay as well because it's probably going to be harder to find like the peach um peach lanterns so but they were really cheap they were like a pound for five i think when i get them i'll show you them so obviously they had to be new if i see them i'll get them second hand but there's a few things i'll have to buy brand new um, but i'll make sure they're really cheap yeah so i got six of these or i think five one two three four five of these and they were 50p each um and then from the same lady i bought oh they're down here some really pretty candles not candles candle jars like tea light holders and they were brand new from dunelm and i think i bought five of these as well they were a pound each she wanted 150 originally but um she said I could have them for a pound and they're lovely, aren't they? So I think they're going to look brilliant on the table or even on um, one of those shelf things that I showed you in the footage before, sitting on one of those or hanging from a tree might look really pretty. I'm not sure. There's loads of ideas. Um, so I will do something. or will just plonk them on the table. Yes, yeah, so I've got five of those. And because we're having a rusticy, vintagey wedding, um, I'm looking for some Hessian, so these Hessian rolls. And I got to one of the stores at the car boot sale and I saw this and thought, oh, I'll get that. And she said, oh, we should have come five minutes ago because um, I had loads of it. So she just sold loads of rolls of brand new Hessian to this other lady. So I need to get to these car boot sales earlier because I think wedding things are very popular. So I might have to get up a bit earlier at the weekend, but this was a pound um, for this roll. And I think there's four meters. 
So this is going to go on the tables. So we're going to have straight tables, like rectangle ones, and then with white tablecloths, I think, and then um, some hessian in the middle, and then maybe some lace on top. Um, so yes, so I've got a little bit. I think there's four metres on that, and it was a pound. But fingers crossed I can find some more. Right, I've got a few more things over here to show you. If you saw my video saying I'm getting married, um, I'm getting married. I put a video on a couple of weeks ago. You'll have already seen this. It was from Bernardo's. It was five pounds. It's a little um, metal sign. So that will be used to show people where to go. And I want to put some little signs either on a wall or make like a, a palette kind of backdrop and put little cute signs up. So I've bought a few different ones. And this was from Wimbledon, Wimbledon Village, darling, from Oxfam. It was £2.50, which is quite a lot, but it was one of the first things I found and I just thought it was very cute. And it just got little quotes saying, Piglet, how do you spell love? And Pooh says, you don't spell it, you feel it. And I thought that was really quite sweet. It's from Chickadee Homeware. Um, so that's, I think that's a shop in Wimbledon. Um, and that was £2.50, so quite a lot for, um, for what it is. But then it's just very sweet. So I got that. And then I've got a couple of items that Mr Carrington um, has given me so he bought one of them which is this one a little I think this is 50p when he did his car boot sale um, video he went and sold a car boot sale and there's, there was a stall selling loads of Gisela Graham things so he bought a couple of things from that stall for me which I'll show you in a different car boot sale haul but he also picked up a little lantern which is perfect and that was 50p it's from Ikea and I'll do something I'll put these dot these about at the wedding as well I love little lanterns and then look at this, right? He gave me this, he, he got rid of a load of things and he said, um, would I like this? And I was like, oh yes, I would, because it's absolutely beautiful. It's another little lantern, really rustic. Um, so I don't know where this is from originally, with glass on the inside. So I'll just put a candle in there and then you can hang it up from that bit. So that is really lovely. I could do with some more of those, but I don't know where they're from. Mr. Carrington, if you're watching, hello, let me know where these are from. Um, and I'll also link his channel in the description. So if you're not subscribed to him already, make sure you are, because you don't want to miss out on his videos. He's lovely. This lovely little basket was also from Wimbledon Village, um, Darling in Oxfam, and it was 3 99 And I don't know, I could use that for anything. I don't know, maybe put some what's it called what's that stuff confetti in there maybe and then people can just chuck it about or you know i could i'm sure i'm going to use it for something but it's just a nice little rustic basket yeah i'll put some some water in there for something some bottles of water i don't know anyway it's just very pretty and then i've got my final things to show you and they probably are my best buy i love them they weren't really cheap but they're exactly what i need and they're going to look beautiful like all together there was three of them and i saw them and thought mm, they're quite nice and then they, they were quite expensive but then my dad's wife buran said you have to get them they're perfect and i was like okay then didn't take much convincing and they had candles in them already this is the largest one um i don't know how big it is but as you can it's really is it's quite big um and and it's wooden with like metal on the top and glass on the inside and with a big like church candle there and this one was 12 99 which is quite expensive but i think for this kind of oh hello that was the candle for this kind of thing it's quite good and it's exactly what i needed the money went to charity and i am really pleased i've got them because i haven't seen any lanterns for sale um in any charity shops or car boot sales and they're kind of perfect i love the look of them they're really rustic-y these uh i got two smaller ones and i think they were 8.99 each where does it say how much were you yeah 8.99 for these two so they're slightly smaller they've got their candles inside them already and exactly the same as the other one and the good thing about the lanterns those big ones is i can use them all the time outside they'll look really pretty and inside actually they'll probably look really nice um in the kitchen if I need them so yeah I'm glad I got them really glad my wife's my wife's dad hang on my dad's wife said get them yeah so I'll say thanks to her again for pointing them out so that is everything I hope you enjoyed this wedding haul it takes longer than I think a normal haul because I have to explain everything about where it's going to go um 
yeah so i hope you enjoyed it let me know if you did and if you're getting married um then let me know uh if you're what kind of wedding you're planning if you're doing it on a budget or if you're spending lots of money or if you've already been married um let me know about your wedding was it did you have a small wedding or a big wedding just share your wedding stories um if you have time just comment below so thank you for watching if you did enjoy it give it a like if you didn't you're probably going to do that but i don't care about those anyway um and make sure you subscribe so if you haven't already press subscribe because I'm going to be vlogging like the wedding progress up until July obviously and then get married um and I will still be doing all my normal hauls I've found loads lately so I need to kind of do charity shop hauls and car boot sale hauls and the wedding poundland poundland wedding hall I'll try and do for next week so thanks for watching have a great weekend and I will be back with a weekend vlog for Monday and then yeah the poundland hall for Friday so thanks for watching I'll speak to you soon bye and goodbye from Bessie the cat as well as having a lovely little snooze. Bye!